With Premiere, in addition to video, you can also import still images like JPEGs, PNGs, and even layered Photoshop documents. Now, to show our models before and after pictures, we saved out two separate JPEG files. So I'll come over to our project area and I'll simply double click to import. And I'll go into my images folder and I'm going to grab Jess before and after as well as the Jess before. And I'll click import to bring in both these JPEGs. And what I want to do now is go to my timeline and find out exactly where I want to bring these in. So just hit my space bar for play. Learn how to turn your photos from this. Okay. So in the script, she says, learn how to turn your photos from this to this. And what we want to do is have that first JPEG show up right when she says the first this. Turn your photos from this. Okay. So I'll come here and find the before picture. I'm going to drag this to the top layer here. I'm going to come back a little bit and play this again. Learn how to turn your photos from this to this. Sign up. All right, and I want to let this play a little bit longer. Sign up now at W. Okay, and right where she's starting to say www, that's where I want the image to stop. Now we are going to do a little bit of overlap here. So I'm going to hit play and we're going to listen to the statement where she says to this. And that's when we're going to bring in the after picture. It is from this to this. Okay, so I'll stop my playhead here and I'm going to grab the before after JPEG and drag this over. And if you note, it snaps right to where the playhead is. And I hit play again. Sign up now at W. Okay. And again, I'm going to stop this right at the www. And now I'm going to play this entire clip just to check out the timing. Hey campers, Jess here for tinyteach.com and I wanted to let you know that Tiny Teach is now offering online classes. Pre-register now for our two-hour mini course, Basic Retouching in Photoshop, for just $10. Learn how to turn your photos from this to this. Sign up now at www.tinyteach.com forward slash web class. All right. And so we've now dropped in two of our images so we can show the before and the after. Now, there are a few things you need to remember when importing images. You'll want to make sure that your images are at the dimensions or the size that you need them or larger because you can always scale down, but scaling up can cause your image to look a little pixelated. And the second thing, you need to make sure your images are set at RGB 72 pixels per inch because they're for use in video or web, as opposed to setting them at CMYK and 300 PPI, which is for print.